Share my screen and we'll dig in. Okay, there we go. Perfect. So from here, let me share my screen and then we will get things started. All right, perfect. So thank you again uh, for taking the time out of your, I know, very busy schedules to attend uh, this third edition or third series or webinar within our webinar series that we've been putting together with Net Plus and Google Workspace for Education. Um, so today, what we're really going to be digging into is the Google Workspace for Education program, um, kind of the terms uh, that and, and accommodations that you all, all have access to as I2 and Net Plus members. And then we'll actually be also hearing from uh, both of our partners who are participating uh, in kind of making this reality as, as the resellers for this. So that's going to be both with Amplified IT and then Burwood Group. Um, so next slide. One of the key things too that we wanted to make sure that everyone had an option and kind of the same ability to ask questions throughout. Um, so we've actually turned off the chat uh, for this session and you can actually access, um, if you do have any questions that you wanna post um, within, within Google Meet itself. So as you kind of uh, scroll over towards the bottom bar on your, on your uh, kind of web browser here, you'll see, um, it's called activities, but it's the, the triangle, square, and circle. When you click on there, you'll then see a list of different things that pop up, and Q&A is being uh, kind of one of those items that we're gonna utilize today. So if you do have any questions, feel free to go in here, uh, click on ask a question, type in your question, and then we'll be sure to get to all of those uh, by the end of our presentation today as well. And then I think uh, what we'll do from here is just jump into the agenda. So we're gonna kick off, and I've already introduced myself, but we're gonna kick off with introductions of today's speakers. So they're gonna give you, you know, who they are, uh, where they work, and then also um, kind of their attachment to this overall webinar. Uh, we'll then dive into the Internet to Net Plus Google for uh, Google Workspace for Education program overview. So kind of running through all the details uh, that you have access to uh, as I2 members. Um, and then uh, to close out, we'll hear from both partners that are offering um, kind of this agreement up to the I2 community. So that's going to be Amplified IT and Burwood Group. And then we'll, we'll close out the entire kind of session with Q&A and then some takeaway resources as well if there are any questions that we don't get to. Um, but yeah, but without further ado, I will uh, kind of kick it over for introductions to Drew Seidel. Thanks so much, Layton, and thanks so much, everyone, for joining. My name is Drew Seidel. I lead our Workspace for Education group in North America. So I have this fantastic team that has the opportunity to partner with uh, support and learn from both K-12 and higher education institutions uh, in the United States and Canada. I'll pass things over to Dana. Thank you, Drew, and welcome, everyone. Um, I'm Dana Voss, and I'm the program manager at Internet responsible for the Google Workspace for Education program. Um, and I'll um, cover a little bit about uh, the service evaluation process and we'll get into the detail of the program um, very shortly here. And with that, I'm going to pass it to Jessica to introduce herself. Hi, yes, thank you so much. Jessica Bright, I'm the Director of Customer Success at Amplified IT. Um, I am excited to talk to you a little bit more later on uh, about what we're offering from AIT. And Courtney. Hi, everyone. Courtney Wilson. I manage our partnership with Google and Internet2, and I oversee a lot of the contracts and the workspace business. So um, if you already work with us or are yet to do so, I will more than likely become a familiar face here at Burwood. And that's me. And then Dana, I believe it is kicking back over to you. Thank you, Leighton. Um, so any program that we have in our uh, Net Plus portfolio goes through a service evaluation process. I know some of you um, have actually helped with the service evaluation for Google Workspace for Education. Others um, have heard us talk about our uh, process before. So I will go through this quickly, uh, but I do want to make sure that um, uh, you all know we started to work with Google last year and we had a number of universities participate in the service evaluation process. 
uh, we did a very thorough functional assessment looking at features and functionality. Um, and the, as a result of that, we were looking at um, continuing to work closely with Google on the roadmap going forward. We looked at the security um, of the Google Workspace platform, and we also did an accessibility evaluation. And then on the identity side, we did an identity evaluation. And uh, we spent the first part of this year going over the uh, pricing and the terms and conditions. And uh, we are currently uh, offering the NetPlus uh, Google Workspace for Education program uh, to universities interested in taking advantage of it. Next slide, please. Um, so the benefits of the Internet to NetPlus program um, are many, and um, I'll touch just on a few uh, because of uh, again, the work from, high, from the higher education community to pre-negotiate the terms um, and also work on pricing, that saves time for those universities who are able to take advantage of the program. It does reduce the cost, uh, again, um, in that um, solutions are consolidated and... Um, the, the time to um, sign an agreement is um, greatly reduced. And then in terms of the risk, uh, because of the work we do on the security and compliance side, uh, that and also uh, the reflection of those in the terms and conditions, uh, that helps minimize the risk on the procurement side. Next slide, please. Um, I would like to thank the universities who are a part of the service evaluation. Um, they're listed here. And um, also, um, I would be remiss if I didn't mention that in the first part of 2021, as we went through the pricing and legal uh, negotiations with Google, we had 30 universities involved in that process. So this truly was a community effort to get um, uh, to where we are today with Google. Next slide, please. Um, so we kicked off the evaluation process in May of last year. We completed the evaluation in August, and then we issued a request for information in October to select a reseller for the program. Uh, we had a number of resellers respond to our request for information, and with the help of the universities who are part, part of the evaluation, we selected Amplified IT and Burwood, um, and we finalized the agreement on June, at the end of June of 2021. Um, I'm going to hand it over to Drew to cover the pricing next and a few other aspects of the program. All right, thanks so much, Dana. So I'll be talking through what Google is offering uh, as part of the NetPlus program. One of the big pieces here is the different Workspace for Education additions. So for any of you that were familiar with previous iterations of our portfolio, when we were launching this new slew of offerings, we really wanted to provide much more flexibility and more options for customers based on their needs specifically. That was something we had specifically heard from a number of customers, including those participating in the NetPlus service evaluation. So today within the Workspace for Education portfolio, we have four distinct offerings. On the left-hand side, we have Education Fundamentals. So that is the free suite of Google tools that many of you use, know, and love today. And those, of course, enable collaborative learning opportunities on a secure platform. So think about the standard Gmail, Drive, Docs, Sheets, and of course, all the administrative tools as well. And then on the right-hand side, we now have three paid offerings. The first is Education Standard. And this is specifically meant for those that specifically want the IT admin security side of the house. So this should greatly increase your capabilities around security and analytics to help you create that safer learning environment for your entire education institution. The pricing for that is $3 per student per year. And then within the price details, we provide one free staff license for every four student licenses purchased. And price is generally based on enrollment. So yearly cost is determined by institution size. And we're going to be using that same licensing and pricing model for Education Plus as well. In the middle, we have the Teaching and Learning Upgrade. 
So this is more for those that specifically want enhanced educator tools. So think about the enhancements in Google Meet, like recordings and breakout rooms, uh, some things to enhance class experiences like originality reports and a few others. So the pricing for that is $4 per license per month. And this is generally our most flexible offering. So institutions can choose how many licenses they need for things like their meeting hosts or their instructors. And the features are only available to the users with that teaching and learning upgrade license assigned. So there's no minimum. So for example, if you have one department that needs the enhanced meet, enhanced meet functionality, you could buy 10 licenses for the different instructors and the department head, provide those licenses to those users specifically and be on your way. And then on the right-hand side, we have Education Plus. So that's the most comprehensive solution. And that's building in everything from education fundamentals as well as standard and teaching learning upgrade. And then a few enhanced features on top of that. So this is gonna cover everything from enhanced security and analytics, teaching and learning, and, and even more. And generally the price for that is $5 per student per year. We were able to negotiate some exclusive pricing through the Internet2 Net Plus program. So with a three year or longer contract, that price then goes from five to $4 per student per year. And just like education standard, for every uh, four student licenses purchased, we provide one free staff license and price is then based on enrollment and yearly cost is determined by institution size. Uh, so one thing we do want to be uh, kind of clear around for standard and plus as well, is that those are generally just the minimum threshold. It would be your full-time enrollment or the equivalent of that is determined by iPads or another data source. But if you uh, need more licenses or if for some reason, based on the ratios, you need less, it's generally up to the customer to determine how many licenses they need. So of course, if you have any questions about that, connect with the Google team, Amplified IT or Burwood. But the big piece here is the licensing model is meant to be very flexible and it's really meant to provide you with the number of licenses you need to cover the appropriate users within the organization. And then as far as the Internet2 exclusive discount structure that I had alluded to earlier, so this is going to be uh, deeper than the discounts that we generally offer. But for those purchasing Education Plus for one year, we are providing a 15% discount. So the cost per student would be around 425. And then if you are looking to do a two-year agreement, we'd be providing that same 15% discount. And then it's at the three-year agreement or more where the deepest discount kicks in. So that is a yearly discount of 20%. So that takes the cost per student per year from $5 to $4. And then towards the bottom, we have what is our kind of best offer through the Net Plus program, which is the four-year agreement if signed by December 1st. So what this in, uh, entails is, there's a yearly discount percentage of 20%, which again, takes price from five to $4. For every four student licenses purchased, we are providing one free staff license, but then there's much, much more when you think about the storage accommodations and as well a free period. So uh, you would receive up to 24 months of Workspace for Education uh, Plus for free when you commit to a four-year Workspace for Education Plus agreement with no payment due until January, 2023. So the free period is longer depending on when you sign. So for those that are signing today, I believe it's around 13 or, or 14 months. But the idea is the earlier that the signing happens, that the licenses are provisioned, the longer that free period will be. We're also providing a greater level of workspace for education storage. So for customers that are signing that four-year commitment, and if they spend at least $50,000 per year in GCP through the Net Plus program, Google would be providing an additional 500 terabytes of workspace for education storage on top of what you had already received. And for those going into that four year agreement, we'd be providing as much storage as you need within workspace for education for 24 months beyond July of 2022. So for the general global policy update around the workspace for education storage, that is happening in July of 2022 for most customers. But for those entering this four year agreement, we would be extending that deadline an additional two years to give you more time to plan and prepare for the policy, to use the admin tools that we're releasing. And of course you would have more storage based on the investment once that policy kicks in. So speaking of additional time to plan and prepare, there are a couple of options here. Uh, one for any higher education institution that makes the request, we are able to extend the storage implementation deadline by six months. So that means that that storage policy would be implemented at the end of year 2022. 
for those that are entering, entering into a three-year Workspace for Education Plus agreement or that purchased G Suite Enterprise for Education previously and continue to renew, Google is uh, providing 18 months beyond July of 2022 to use as much storage as needed. So that means the storage policy would be implemented for those customers at the end of year 2023. And then again, our best offer, which is through Internet 2, and that is the four-year agreement that includes the free period. For those customers, we are providing 24 months beyond July of 2022 to use as much storage as needed. So that would push that storage policy implementation for those customers to July of 2024. And so the big piece here, and this was feedback that we had heard consistently from the Net Plus evaluation group and from many other customers, is that they just needed more time to plan and prepare for the storage policy. And we really wanted to be as flexible and accommodating as we could. The other pieces, uh, as far as the internet to net plus offer that we do want to highlight, as far as the accommodations and just the richness of this offer, again, there is that up to 18 month free period for customers that are committing to a four year workspace for education plus agreement, depending on the timing of that commitment. So for any customer that's signing by December 1st of 2021, the first payment would be due in, in January of 2023. So, you know, the earlier you sign, the longer that free period is. And we wanted to give customers as much time as possible with the tools so that they could use all the enhanced IT admin security functionality, all the additional teaching and learning functionality and more. And a lot of that was around flexibility of budget uh, and financing. So if you do need more time to kind of plan and prepare for that side of the house, that free period should provide you with that flexibility. The exclusive discounting, uh, which we did highlight, we do want to reemphasize that there is that 20% education plus discount for all paid years. And that's available to any customer signing a three year plus workspace for education plus commitment. The 500 terabytes of additional free workspace storage, that is for, again, customers signing the four year workspace for education plus commitment by December 1st and having at least $50,000 a year in spend in the GCP Net Plus program. And then if for some reason additional storage is required, so let's say you had gone through that four-year agreement, the storage policy is going to be implemented in July of 2024, but at that point you still need additional hot file storage within Workspace. We are planning to have an offer available in 2024 for customers that just want to purchase storage only on top of Education Plus. And uh, to give you a little bit of an idea of what an example timeline would look like for our customers. So when we think about what's happening today, 2021 through when uh, the new storage uh, tools become available in the admin console, we feel like this is really the time to plan and prepare, to understand the storage usage, to read through the terms and limits, to use the tooling that we're providing now and moving forward. And it's also the time to think about what offerings are available. So for example, the Net Plus Workspace for Education offer and how much additional time that, that'll provide. A little bit later this year is when the pooled uh, storage launch will happen. So we'll be providing some new management tools that will enable you to better understand, plan for, and start to put configurations in place to prepare for the storage policies. July of 2022 is when the storage limits for most education customers will come into effect. But for the Net Plus customers, and especially those going into the four-year commitment, that uh, implementation policy is going to be a little bit different. So for 2023, for customers that are going into the four-year commitment, that's when they would start paying for Workspace Plus in January. Throughout 2023 and through 2024, that's the time to start moving storage to different buckets. If you have hot file storage, you can keep that in Workspace. Cold or object storage, you can move down to something like Google Cloud Platform. It's also give, going to give you an opportunity to better understand and manage your storage. So if there are shared drives that aren't necessary, or maybe you have an alumni uploading all of the Oscar-nominated movies for the last couple of years, you can start to remove some of that unwanted storage. Then in July of 2024 is when those new storage limits would take effect for customers that had gone through that Workspace for Education Plus four-year agreement. And then in 2025, is when the renewal of the Workspace for Education Plus contract would happen. So something we had consistently heard from a number of customers in both the internet too and outside of is that they wanted uh, longer terms, they wanted longer guarantees from Google, 
And they wanted that so that they could better understand the future and plan and prepare for it. So we hope that with that four-year offer and understanding pricing, understanding the storage model through 2025, hopefully that gives you that level of certainty. And just quickly, I wanted to highlight the pooled storage model and how this is going to work. Since we recognize that moving from an unlimited to a pooled storage model is a big adjustment for many customers. So the first piece is pooled storage is shared storage across all of your users for everything in their accounts. And something we have consistently heard from education customers is that they prefer a pooled storage model because as administrators, you know best which users require what level of storage. So as a workspace for education administrator, once these tools are available a little bit later this year, you'll be able to allocate storage based on the needs of an institution or a specific user. So if you feel that, for example, your faculty and staff members should have one level of storage, active students should have another, maybe your alumni get a different level of storage, you'll be able to do that by user, by group, by organizational unit, uh, et cetera. And of course, you can over-provision. What we've seen is that the vast majority of education users use far less than five gigabytes. So if you would like to set a five gigabyte limit on most of your users, provide certain users with higher limits, you are able to do that across the entire domain. Um, so this idea of over-provisioning is something that um, a number of customers are already planning for, and we'll have, of course, best practices and policies uh, built out and ready to share at the launch of those tools. As far as what you can do today, ahead of when these tools are set to launch later this year, we do want to provide you with a set of resources to help you understand, plan, and prepare for the storage policy. So one of the best resources, and generally what we recommend to be a source of truth to understand your domain's storage and to you know, plan and prepare for what's coming next is this storage report and calculator. So this tool is specifically for Workspace for Education domain super administrators to provide better visibility into storage use. So as a super admin, when you go to this URL and sign into this tool, this is going to reflect both your current estimated storage utilization and anticipated pooled storage allocation based on your monthly active users, the licenses you have in your institution and more. So a really, really accurate and advanced feature. And this, again, for super admin specifically, but that should give you much better visibility today. We also have a couple of guides and articles so that you can read up on the storage policy and understand your options moving forward. So of course, we have the Storage Policy Help Center, uh, a great, great resource. And then we have a downloadable storage guide as well. Uh, we also have a drive storage FAQ for administrators. So for those of you that maybe have some common questions, uh, and just want to better plan who's going to be managing Google Drive for the organization. What should you be thinking around storage space for your users and their drive files? If you're planning to change any of the workspace for education additions and you want to make sure you get all the storage you need, this is a great source of truth for that. And uh, our partners at Amplified IT also built the Gopher for Drive tool. So that tool can be used by an institution's administrator to quickly identify things like the domain's largest consumers of storage, to understand you know, where some change management might be needed. And to quickly walk you through a scenario of what this might look like for an actual institution. So we have an example here of an organization that has a full-time student enrollment number of around 36,300. They have around 7,900 faculty and staff, and they have about 98,000 workspace 30-day active users. So for this organization, planning to purchase through the Net Plus agreement and that four-year agreement by December 1st, the number of licenses they would purchase would be equal to their number of full-time students. So they're purchasing 36,300. And then based on the licensing model, for every four student licenses purchased, Google provides one free staff license. So based on that, because they purchased 36,300, they would then receive around 8,920 free staff licenses. So they would receive more staff licenses than they have staff, which is totally fine. Then their total number of Education Plus licenses would be around 45,220. And that number should be enough to cover all of their active faculty and staff, as well as all of their active students. Now, you might be wondering, you know, they have 98,000 users. That's more than the number of licenses. That's also totally okay. Within this organization, there's a large number of alumni that are still active. They're not going to be assigning those alumni a Workspace for Education Plus license because 
The alumni don't require that enhanced meet functionality. They don't require things like the originality reporting and more. So as a workspace administrator, you can be really selective and granular with who gets a license. And of course, you can do that by, by OU, by group. We even have APIs that will do those things automatically. And based on the annual discounting of 20%, the price for those 36,300 paid licenses is going to be around uh, 1,004, uh, I'm sorry, $145,200 per year. Of course, that is after the free period. So the licenses are free up until January of 2020, uh, 2023. And the, this customer can use as much storage as needed through July of 2024 based on the four-year education plus commitment. Uh, as far as after July of 2024, how much storage they would have, uh, so I'm going to run through this calculation and say so for your organization, you can think about it in a similar way. So because they have 98,000 active users, they are going to receive a higher baseline free level of storage from Google. So generally, if you have over 20,000 active users, you can do a multiplier of five gigs. So because they have 98,000 times five gigs, this customer would have a free baseline of 490 terabytes of workspace storage. And then based on their education plus investment, they would have a total of 45,220 education plus licenses. Each of those licenses, both the free and paid, include an additional 20 gigabytes of pooled storage. So based on that 45,220 number times 20 gigabytes, that's another 904 terabytes of pooled storage. So this customer's total pooled storage limit would be 1.394 petabytes. And of course, because they're investing in Workspace for Education Plus, that pooled storage model doesn't really become a factor until July of 2024, two years beyond the, uh, the enforcement policy for most customers. And from here, I'm going to pass things over to Dana, talk a little bit about the storage management tool work that she's been doing and to close things up. Thank you, Drew. Um, we formed the cloud storage working group um, earlier this year and the working group has been meeting with Google on a regular basis over the last uh, couple of three months. Um, Google plans to release storage tools in the first part of uh, 2022. Um, initially, uh, I think um, the hope was that there would be tools released before the end of this year, and uh, that uh, timeline is moving back just a little bit. Um, you are able to access the roadmap through the Google Cloud community site, um, and we're actually going to be making these slides available so that you have access to the links that uh, we've included in the presentation. Um, to get access to the roadmap, you would have to have a signed NDA with Google and um, you would get access to the uh, roadmap via that roadmap access request form. Um, in terms of the work of the Google Workspace for Education Storage uh, Working Group, um, we uh, polled the community and we have an extensive list of requirements that um, we are tracking with Google, and as I mentioned, we get updates regularly from Google on um, uh, the requests that have been made. Uh, many of those requests are going to be included in the release that's planned for the first part of next year. Um, additionally, we did a survey of the community and looked at priorities beyond this initial release. Um, and as part of that survey, we identified the top five requirements for next year. Um, as far as prioritization of those requirements for next year, um, you'll have to, uh, you know, keep in touch with us and we'll be able to share more as um, information becomes available in the next few months. Um, we are going to do a webinar on storage tools. We don't have a date for that webinar, but again, keep an eye on um, the resources. We have um, a blog on our website and I'll cover the resources a little further in the presentation. But um, uh, once we have a date for the webinar, we will make sure to get the word out. 
Um, in terms of the benefits of the Net Plus program, uh, we work uh, very closely with Google and um, uh, universities on uh, continuing the work from the service evaluation. Um, we are going to form a service advisory board before the end of uh, 2021. We have a number of universities who have already uh, signed the agreement and are part of the Net Plus program. And uh, there are uh, about 50 universities or more who are having conversations with um, Amplified IT and Burwood. Um, so our process for selecting um, uh, the members of the advisory board is going to look at those universities who subscribe to the program and uh, we will extend an invitation to uh, probably around 10 universities to be a part of the advisory board. Um, that group is going to work very closely with Google on uh, the roadmap, uh, tools, and all of those things that are of um, interest to the community. Um, we also are going to continue the work of the Cloud Storage Working Group. Um, and as there are, uh, as, as needs arise for other type of working groups, we will be um, uh, making that happen again as part of this program. Um, the other benefit of being a part of the program, um, I mentioned the agreement and I'll talk a little bit more about uh, that next. But um, one of the things that we do is we continue to monitor the requests for changes to the agreement. Um, and if uh, those are approved, we work with Google and the resellers to incorporate them in the master agreement. So uh, the education agreement uh, via the Net Plus program, um, as I mentioned, the terms and conditions have been pre-negotiated. Currently, we are, of course, accepting any governing law required uh, terms and conditions. Um, but if there are campus concerns or proposed changes, we are reviewing them. And um, if they are approved, as I mentioned, we will include them in the master agreement. Um, currently, um, the reseller service order is being used by uh, both Amplified IT and Burwood. Um, again, it's the same exact agreement. There are no differences between uh, the service order used by Amplified IT versus Burwood. Um, and those of you who are considering procuring through the Net Plus program, we've developed a procurement analysis worksheet, which highlights the differences between the terms and conditions in the Net Plus program versus the um, standard uh, agreement, terms of service with Google. Um, as um, I think everyone knows, uh, our Internet to Higher Education members are eligible for the Net Plus um, service offering. Uh, that being said, non-members, and we've had a number of universities who are not non-members request um, um, express interest in the program. Uh, those institutions who are not members of Internet who will have to go through an approval process. Um, and if they are eligible for the Google Workspace for Education based on the criteria, they will have to have um, to meet that criteria, which is listed um, at the link um, on this slide. And if they have high research data needs, um, then Google may uh, approve their participation in the program. And in terms of participation for non-members, they of course would have to sign the reseller service order with the reseller of their choice. Uh, but there's also a requirement to sign a participation agreement and schedule with internet too, and pay a one-time fee and an annual access fee. Um, currently, the one-time setup fee and the access fee for the first year is waived. Um, and um, of course, the access fees for the subsequent years would be 
uh, due. Um, one thing I would like to mention is that this access fee for non-members covers a number of other service offering and the details um, again, we'll make these slides available and you'll have access to those details uh, for those interested. Um, another question we received was about existing customers who wish to migrate to the Net Plus agreement. So let's say you've signed an agreement for um, G Suite um, Enterprise for Education and it expires um, in 2022. Um, you are welcome to sign an agreement before December 1st to take advantage of the unique um, um, offerings that are a part of the program. Um, again, it would be with the reseller of your choice, um, and then you would benefit from that free period, which um, in the case of a university with a contract that ends in 2022 would be from the time when their contract ends until the end of 2022. There would not be a refund um, given on your current agreement. And with that, I'm going to hand it over to Jessica. Thanks, Dana, so much. Hello, everyone. Um, again, Jessica Bright. I am with Amplified IT, um, the director of customer success over here. So I work with um, both our K-12 and our higher ed teams uh, to make sure that we are providing all of the services and products that our customers can need. Um, so go ahead to the next slide, please. Um, I wanted to take a moment, though, and make sure that you knew uh, who we are. So who is Amplified IT? Um, we recognize that everyone's kind of on their own individual path and journey with Google for Education. And no matter where you are, you're going to have uh, your own tech roadmap and your own set of goals. Um, we're an education-focused consultancy that brings our blend of technical skills and knowledge to both the K-12 and higher ed market uh, to make sure that we're helping to meet your unique needs as an institution. We're a pr premier Google partner and Google reseller. Um, we are also an education-specific and specialized product and service provider. We're 100% Google. We're 100% education. We don't work in other areas, and we don't work with other uh, uh, services, just Google. Um, we are also a Google Marketplace apps and add-on provider for helping you to manage admin settings at scale. So go ahead. Uh, we cut our teeth really early on Google for Education. Uh, we've been working with higher ed for over 13 years and G Suite for over 11 years now. Um, we started working with the Google Education team in the higher ed market leading deployments as early as 2008. So next slide. Um, and since then, we've continued to grow. We're now based out of Norfolk, Virginia. Um, we have recently been able to significantly increase our impact in the US. Uh, this is a map of all of our institutions and um, districts that we work with. So far, we've been able to um, impact over 33 million students from more than 5,000 EDU organizations in all 50 states and Canada. Go ahead. And we know Google for Education very well. Um, I wanted to call out here, our team maintains an extensive list of Google Cloud certifications within the team. And more than two thirds of our team comes to us from the schools and universities we work with. So we take that breadth and depth of knowledge that they have, and we work to transfer that to your institutions being an extension of your team. Um, they know exactly what challenges you're working on because they've been there working on those challenges too. Um, that means that our knowledge uh, is unparalleled in the marketplace. Uh, thanks, Leighton. And uh, just a few things to call out um, that are included with your purchase through Amplified IT. We have a very specific Internet 2 Net Plus white glove onboarding and consultation service that we're providing to you uh, with purchase. Uh, this allows our onboarding team to assist you no matter where you are in your journey, if you've been using for a long time, if you are very new to uh, Google Workspace, and it will help uh, look to deepen your understanding and usage of uh, the Education Plus service while creating an actual roadmap with your team. We also provide internet level support, sorry, enterprise level support for you, um, and this expands beyond Google's basic uh, break fix support service uh, by offering access to our EDU focused support specialists who are there to do proactive assistance with you. It also gets you access to our consultancy, migration, provisioning, and training services. 
And we also give you access to uh, some of Amplified IT's tools with your purchase. Um, with your purchase, you get access to our proprietary tools for licensing and provisioning, as well as storage reporting. Next slide. Um, a few things that are available to you in addition uh, to your purchase. We have uh, Google Marketplace apps and add-ons. So if you're, an, if you're an institution who maybe you don't have just one person focused solely on Google all the time and you're wearing a lot of hats, um, you may find that it's a little bit challenging uh, to manage your environment at scale. So we have a lot of tools that we've designed to assist those institutions um, as needed. We're providing a 10% discount for any of those that are AIT uh, workspace customers through the, uh, the Internet2 NetPlus contract. We also have consultancy and migration services. So if you've been using legacy versions of Workspace for quite a long time, you may not know where to start to get organized um, to move over to Workspace Plus and take advantage of um, some of the things with licensing and provisioning. You may need help with your OU structures or leveraging groups. Uh, you also may be haven't kept up with your settings. You need us to help review those um, and give you some best practices there, or recommendations. Um, we can make recommendations to, for you to implement, or if you need, we can actually pick up that work and do that for you. Again, there's a 10% discount um, for those workspace customers through the Internet2 and NetPlus uh, contract. And then also we provide Google Voice on this contract. Um, and whether you're on site or remote, Google Voice for Education keeps your institution connected. Um, we're offering a tiered discount structure beginning at 50% off list pricing for that. Next slide, Lee. Thank you. Um, in summary, just wanted to call out a few uh, areas again. Amplified IT, we know Google and we know education because that's 100% the space that we work in. We're a premier partner. We are uh, specific and specialized to EDU. We can help you scale and we're experienced and dedicated. Um, go ahead and reach out to us. I think I put our email address at the bottom of all of the slides. You can request a trial to get started. Um, we also have our higher education newsletter that you can sign up for. Just let us know how we can help you. Okay, thank you. Perfect, thanks Jessica. And then passing it on to Courtney over with Burwood Group. Thanks Leighton, thanks Jessica. Um, you could just, yep, yeah, perfect. So thank you all for the opportunity to speak to you today. Um, a little bit about Burwood, if you don't know of us already, we are a Google premier partner, value-added reseller, and a consulting firm based out of Chicago, but we do have a national presence. Um, so since joining forces with Google and Internet2, we've quickly grown to become one of the number one partners of choice in higher education. Uh, Google awarded us Public Sector Partner of the Year in 2020, and of course, we have their education specialization. Um, so big thank you to Google Internet, too, and of course, all of you in the community for your continued support. Um, just a few of the benefits of working with Burwood Group. We do offer a complimentary onboarding service just to ensure you're set up for success with your workspace environment. Um, we provide a customer success manager, so that will provide you with ongoing one-on-one -on -one support and assistance throughout the term of your working with Burwood. Um, if you use multiple Google services, we do provide the opportunity to simplify billing, organize, consolidate your billing, and we can be really flexible in this area. So if this is of interest to you, please let us know. Um, and then more broadly, we're not just a reseller. Um, so in addition to your customer success manager, we have a number of engineers and architects with experience in the various areas of Google to ensure your broader success uh, with Google and your cloud strategy. Um, so with our large presence in higher education, we actually developed a Burwood user group for Google higher education that we've termed our, uh, coined our buggy group. Um, so this, we wanted to create a community just within our client base to share experiences, similar challenges. Um, so if you are already a Burwood client, uh, on one of the next sessions, which is coming up in the next couple of weeks, we intend to focus on workspace. Um, so I look forward to speaking with you there as well. Um, you can jump on to the next slide, please. Thank you. Um, so I know collectively we've all thrown a lot, of, a lot of information at you today. So I hope this slide helps to just kind of cut through a lot of the noise with the need to know information from me. Um, so if you would like to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with me uh, where I can help you understand the licensing differences or the differences between the one, two, three, and four year options, more than happy to help, um, and it would also help me to gain a better understanding of your needs to make recommendations to you. Um, so, uh, 
Oh, and of course, free trial. Um, so if you're interested in starting a free trial uh, for Workspace Plus or even Workspace Standard, uh, before making making a decision, Berwick can assist with that, of course. And I really just want to call out that um, the services that we bundle around our Workspace offering are available even dur during your trial. So um, we can give you a walkthrough of the admin console, do a high-level overview of the security features with you and your security team, um, and then you'll be working with myself and one of our workplace specialists there to assist you. So um, if any of you, any part of you is uh, unsure and you think a trial would help, please contact me directly at uh, cwilson at burwood.com or if it's easier to remember, uh, I too google at burwood.com. I'm sure if you reach out to internet too as well, they'll put you in touch directly with me. Um, or of course, if you already work with us on the Google Cloud side or in any other capacity, um, feel free to reach out via your account manager or your technical account manager who will end up connecting you with yours truly. Um, so I am looking forward to meeting you and continuing this conversation and helping you take advantage of all the discounts and the benefits available through this program. And um, that's all for me. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Courtney. And thanks, Jessica, for both kind of sharing the benefits of what you all and what the different partners bring to the table. So really appreciate that. Um, so for our next section, we actually have a Q&A kind of section here. I actually did not see any additional questions um, in the Q&A. I saw that there was one that was already answered, but I can address that piece. But yeah, if there are any questions that individuals have, feel free to unmute yourself. Um, We'll be sure to answer those live. So if there's questions for Google, uh, the Google team, either myself or Drew, uh, if you have questions for Amplified IT or Burwood, um, you can ask those as well. And then obviously, if you have any questions for Internet 2 or Net Plus, um, we, can, we can kind of address those. But um, I'll just address the, the one question that we got in the Q&A, which is from Colleen. Um, and it was, is the July 2024 uh, storage limit date as of the end of the month? Um, versus the beginning, I'm assuming. And the answer to that, Dana also answered in kind of the Q&A uh, matrix, but the answer to that is the storage limit will be enforced July 1st of 2024. So, you know, still very far out from now, but, but it would be the first of the month versus the end of, uh, end of the month. Um, but yeah, but I will just kind of open it up and see if there's any questions or feel free to unmute if anyone has a question live. Uh Leighton, no one's asked this, um, but it's a question that I come across frequently, so I just thought maybe a lot of people that have joined might have the same question. Um, but could you provide some advice to anyone who might have purchased Giuseppe or still have some time left in their Giuseppe agreement, um, and how can they take advantage of the new program? Yeah, yeah. Um, I can definitely uh, address that, and then, uh, Drew, feel free to feel free to jump in with any details I potentially miss. Um, so there are a couple options for those who have already purchased uh, G Suite Enterprise for Education, uh, or Giuseppe, or now that we're calling, um, I guess, Education Plus Legacy. Um, one of the one of the key questions, or one of the key pieces here, is you'll actually be able to. Um, do one of two things. You can continue to renew uh, on your, you know, legacy uh, kind of licensing, and you would receive 18 months of uh, that storage extension, and you would continue to have access to all the great tools and features you currently have access to. Um, and you'll also, or, or sorry, or you'll have access to kind of sign on to the current agreement with either one of the resellers here, so either Burwood or Amplified IT, and then be able to access that once your renewal is up. Um, but Drew, feel free to add any uh, additional insights there. No, I think you hit it right on, Layton. I, I think for a number of customers, when looking at the two options and deciding, do we want to continue with the existing licensing and pricing that we have, or do we want to move to something like the Net Plus offering? Yeah, I just think it's it's kind of a compare and contrast of what you have in place and what's available through Internet 2 and Net Plus. Now, obviously, through Internet 2 and Net Plus, there's gonna be longer term pricing available. For most of our customers that purchased G Suite Enterprise for Education previously, there was a three year price lock. So they purchased at one price with the opportunity to renew at the same price in years two and years three. Uh, with uh, the Net Plus offering and Workspace for Education Plus, there's obviously a longer duration. Um, and then there's also a free period. As far as the functionality, you know what you have today with the legacy licensing or what you would receive through Education Plus, 
the functionality is going to be the same because for our existing customers, we want to make sure that anything we're, we're building and we're launching, that's going to, uh, you know, become available for both the, our existing customers and our new Education Plus customers. So the functionality will remain the same. But, you know, it's generally a question of, you know, financing, term of agreement, and do you, you know, want access to something like the free period and just longer term pricing and commitment. So, um, yeah, I think, you know, for every customer, it's, it's a little bit different and unique. And of course, Amplified IT and Burwood are happy to help weigh the pros and cons of that, as is the Google team. Oh, perfect. Thanks for that question, Courtney. Um, but yeah, but I guess with the last five minutes or so, what I can this do... Is, or, sorry, go ahead. Sorry to interrupt. This is Jake Hard from UC Berkeley. And I'm kind of curious on the security offerings. Um, what's changing? What's going to be available? Uh, yeah, um, great question, Jake. And uh, definitely appreciate that. So a uh, number of functionalities and features actually will be available still um, that were available in, um, I guess, G Suite Enterprise for Education. Uh, it's going to actually be the same functionality that, that comes across both. Um, when it comes to the actual functionality and features that are coming out with the enhanced security and, and tool sets that you'll have access to, we did have a webinar earlier in this series as well that, I, that I'll share out that recording too, that actually dug into a, a deep dive of all those features and functionalities. Um, Top things that are you know top of mind for this are um, the security center, uh, which has both the investigation tool, uh, security dashboards, and then also um, kind of the security health check uh, portal. All of these tools offer you know something a little bit unique to the overall kind of security, like kind of blueprint that you can actually set up for your overall domain. Um, and I see that Drew actually just pulled up here as well some of those holistic controls. So I'll kick it over to him to, to answer any specifics that I that I kind of missed there as well. No, I think I think you hit it right on, Leighton. I mean, there is so much within Workspace for Education Plus beyond just storage. And you know, I think through Internet too and through the service evaluation, I think that's something that really came through. You know, most organizations that have either purchased or were looking to purchase at the time what was G Suite Enterprise for Education. We're doing so for reasons completely outside of storage. And one of the primary drivers was generally the enhancements to things like their IT admin and security functionality. Um, so this is just giving you a high level overview of everything that comes within that offer. So there's proactive security tools like what Leighton mentioned, more holistic controls as far as things like data regions so that you can control geographically where your data is stored to even more advanced things like context where access. Um, so really giving you fine-tuned granularity around security control, who can gain access to which data and which applications, et cetera. Uh, much more across analytics and insights as well, thinking about full access to things like your Gmail logs and exporting those to BigQuery or another third-party analysis tool, your classroom audit log, and just in general, having full access to your audit logs and usage data, as well as things like the uh, enhancements to Google Meet and the classroom experiences. So there's a lot of functionality there. Um, something that may be helpful, Jake, for y'all is uh, there's a web page. I just put that there. Um, so that's more of a marketing product page, but that does give you an opportunity to compare the different editions. So that'll show you within Workspace for Education fundamentals compared to standard teaching and learning and education plus what exactly is available in which edition and what's available for the administrator compared to the educator or the student. Thank you very much. Yeah, of course. Perfect. And then I believe in the last three minutes or so, let me just share um, the last slide that we had up, which is just kind of a resources page. So again, we're going to be sharing out this overall deck that we ran through today. So you'll have access to this information. You'll be able to click on all of these links and everything there. I also have just shared in uh, the Meet chat um, kind of a link to where we're actually posting a lot of these recordings and then also have our upcoming sessions. Um, that are to come, so you'll have access to that. Um, but with these resources that we were showcasing here, uh, we have a frequently asked questions page that actually runs through all of the you know top of mind questions that we've been receiving over the course of this agreement and, and kind of uh, what other institutions like yourselves have been asking. So that's a you know a powerful resource there. There is a Slack channel that Internet2 and NetPlus have set up as well to where you can actually you know be a member of that, ask questions along there, and there's there's a link to that as well. 
And then our upcoming webinar uh, kind of sessions and series that we have here are, are the next two that we have scheduled are uh, October 6th and October 20th. Um, so next week, we're going to be covering kind of Google Meet, what uh, enhancements uh, have already come, what is right on the roadmap to be released, and then how that kind of integrates with uh, some common LMSs. Mm -hmm. And then on October 20th, that's where we're going to actually run through Google Workspace and Microsoft interoperability, so how you can actually use both platforms together. Again, we have a, uh, a to be scheduled for Google Workspace for education storage tools. But once that's scheduled, we'll be sure to alert everyone um, on when that when that session will take place. Um, and then some of these other pieces here. So, um, you know, there are just some other documents to where you can actually gather all of the intel that you need utilizing that wiki. And if you have any questions around the actual agreement itself um, and not necessarily around either the Google portions or the reseller portions, that's where you can actually contact either netplus at internet2.edu or Dana Voss uh, directly. Um, but yeah, but with that, I just wanted to thank everyone for, for attending today. I know it's, it's not easy to kind of carve out an hour in the middle of a busy work week, um, but really appreciate it. Again, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to any one of us uh, who are speakers today or, um, or your you know, dedicated Google Workspace uh, representatives. And we are happy to help and kind of help you guide along this way as well. So appreciate it again and uh, talk soon. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thank you.